buy me another town High as a uh, odd soul But they used to call me prodigal Thought I could call the shot Short-sighted audibles A strap shoes on my feet Got all my articles Headed out of town anywhere Cause I gotta go Hey, welcome to RV Nomad Guide. I'm your host, Witness Me. Witness! Today, I want to talk to you about the importance of having a really good indoor-outdoor thermometer for your rig, whether it's RV or van. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for this. And then I'm going to show you the one that I use and tell you where you can get it. It's only about 10 bucks. You can get more expensive, fancy ones, but I'm a fan of whatever is the cheapest thing that's actually going to do the job and not break in one week. The two biggest reasons to have a thermometer on your rig, both showing indoor and uh, your outdoor temperature, is not only comfort for indoor, you know, inside and whatever you're going to do outside that day, but also for safety. It's really important to know when, if you're in a climate that could dip below freezing at night, which is really common at high altitudes. It's really common if you're out in the western states uh, of the United States and Canada. Uh, if you're in the mountains at high altitude, you can get these really big temperature swings between the sunny afternoon, it might be in the 60s or even 70, and at night on the same day, it could dip down into the 30s, be below freezing, uh, especially if you have a weather pattern come in quickly. Uh, a lot of times, this problem can be compounded by, if you're in the mountains, you might not have cell signal uh, to be able to get a forecast or get an alert when something's coming up. So you never know, especially in the spring and in fall, when you might get the temperature dropping quickly, a snowstorm coming in, and it's really important to know for safety when that temperature is getting really low. Not only for your personal safety, but for keeping your rig safe, keeping your pipes from freezing, keeping everything in good condition. Because when the temperature dips, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're prepared for that, whether it's, you know, whatever your rig has, whether it's heated water tanks or insulating your sewer pipes or anything like that, which we can talk about in another video. But the important thing is to maintain the situational awareness of what the temperature is outside and inside. It's really important to know if you're going to be headed out to do some hiking or you get up first thing in the morning, you want to know what the temperature is outside. The second big reason to have that indoor-outdoor thermometer is for your own comfort inside the camper. If you don't have a lot of experience yet in your camper or van it can be a little bit of a challenge to maintain a temperature inside the rig that is comfortable it's easy for temperatures to swing by 30 or 40 degrees over the course of a day between temperature changes outside plus the Sun and most of the time you'll be managing that with windows and shades keeping them open closed on one side or another and it's really good to know when that temperature inside the vehicle might be getting too too hot for comfort or for safety Okay, here you can see the thermometer that I chose. I picked it because it had good reviews online and it, because it was $10. You know, you're probably not getting the absolute most scientifically correct measuring device here. I don't know if it'll last forever, but it's lasted me five months so far. It has done really well. Uh, it, frankly, it looks kind of the same as a bunch of other ones on there. It's one of those things where you can tell one manufacturer is making it and it's getting rebranded about five different companies five different times. Of course, I had to pick this one over the other identical looking ones because of the name. And this one's very straightforward. It's got four buttons. It shows temperature and humidity. This one's going to be really important if you're in a humid or hot area in your camper. And I'll explain why in just a second. We've got four buttons. One that shows you the indoor temperature measured with a thermometer internal to the device, as well as an outdoor temperature measured with a cable that runs outside the camper through your window, through the door. I don't have that hooked up at the moment. I will in just a second. Tap that right there. You can see it's showing L because I don't have the cable hooked up at the moment. Reset, which will recalibrate your temperature. This is a handy feature, max and min. It's gonna remember, actually, it's got memory. It's gonna remember the highest and lowest temperature that it has seen since the last time you hit reset. And this can be really useful for finding out just how hot it, it's been getting in your camper when you're not in it. During the day, you have it closed with the doors and windows locked. And then, of course, this button, you can switch over to Celsius if you're a Euro dude and you just can't hang with Fahrenheit. It runs on a single, 
AAA battery and it lasted me for at least two or three months if not longer. Here's where you plug in that cable that comes with it and I'm going to do that right now. Now here's where I've got mine taped up. I've got it taped up inside just above the door. Really handy to check when I'm peeking my head out first thing in the morning. Got it taped up here with some duck, good old duct tape. And here you can see the wire for the outdoor thermometer is run to the back of this. And I have sort of tried my best to conceal it here. It runs through the door frame, out the door, to where I've got it taped up just above the door frame here. It's just this little metal piece. Another really important feature to have, and another reason to have one of these indoor outdoor thermometers is that you get one that measures the humidity in the air as well. I think that's called a hygrometer. Word of the day, word of the day, hygrometer. It's really good to know the humidity inside your camper because if it's a smaller unit, especially when you start piling in multiple people, what you'll find is that the water, the condensation from your breath, from your cooking, from just your daily day-to-day -day activity, from the heat beating down inside, uh, your inside your camper is gonna tend to be more humid than the outside. This is really important to know if you're in a humid area like the south or the east coast in summer or the northwest where it rains every day and everyone's on antidepressants and it's important to know the humidity and manage the humidity inside your camper because humidity is one of the most common causes of damage inside a camper. Uh, if it gets, if it's too moist inside, especially around maybe if you have a shower, a bathroom area, that's going to over time cause mold and mildew to build up inside and that is one of the, the, the most common problems to have inside a camper. So keeping the humidity level down in your camper, especially you, you check it after you take a hot shower, after you've done your cooking, is you wanna keep it, I've read, below 50%. And if you're in a dry area where I am now in the mountains uh, in the Southwest states, you're almost never ever gonna have a problem with this. But anywhere where it's gonna be raining, that's going to be a challenge to and it's not a big deal but it's just you want to you don't want to have it be too humid over too long a period of time okay thanks for watching this is your guide witness me on rv nomad guide if you found this useful subscribe here below we are going to have a lot more content coming over the coming weeks not just product reviews but all kinds of helpful videos to help get your ass on the road not bad not bad